<laughs> okay, I wanted to wait for the uh, opening music to stop there. Hey, it is currently Monday, January 20th, and that means it's the 20th episode of my vloguary or my daily vlog, and I'm just about to go into work, and I do know for a fact the topic I want to talk about today is going to be teamwork and just the team dynamic in general, and if you think, oh, well, I don't have a team that I work with. I mean, team can also be like, you know, the people in your life, your family is your team too, sort of. So anyhow, and the reason I want to bring that up is because one of the things I'm going to be doing today is uh, riding along with one of our teams at work to check out how they do some of the work that they do. And yes, I'm being vague on purpose because I can't talk about it because it's for a project that isn't public yet. So anyhow, but still, uh, let's do that intro. And then uh, I don't know if I'll be in my car afterwards or if I'll be out at a park maybe or... Maybe at home because, you know, my day is full and I can't vlog during the day because I'm working. So, all right, let's do that intro. It is a much cooler, cloudy, and gloomier day than normal for my videos here from San Diego. But you know what? It's January. We should have this happen every now and then. Out for a walk on my lunch break, getting my exercise in. Thought I'd cover this video real quick. Yes, I want to talk about teamwork. And I know I can't talk about the details of what I did today, but the one thing I've learned in all the work I've done so far is that teamwork is really about trust. Uh, there's a saying that uh, a team is a group of people that trust each other, not a pe group of people that work together. And, and I completely believe that. But it, beyond that, beyond trusting each other, it's also about knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. And a team in this reference can be a, a huge team, like a football team, a baseball team, or, or a work crew of four, or even a relationship, honestly. I mean, you've got to be able to trust each other. You've got to have that knowledge of each other's strengths and weaknesses and when you can trust the other one to step in and support that. And, and when it comes to the, the teamwork, especially because, you know, on a lot of teams, and I'll use football as an example, it's something, American football, uh, it's something I enjoy because that's an opportunity for you know, people to really have a position, an obvious point of strength, but then all the work they do and the success is not reliant on just their strength, but on their coworkers or their, their teammates and what their strengths are. So that's my thought of the day for teamwork and the importance of it. And actually, you know what, I'm heading, I gotta head back, but um, I might tail something in on the very end here about leadership of teams as well, but we'll see if we get to that. If not, we will jump right now to the uh, have a good one, everybody. And uh, if we do have time for that later tonight, I'll transition here in just a second. All right, the one little thing I want to add on to the end of this video before I hunker down and start editing and post it, leadership of a team is another portion of that whole teamwork. And I think sometimes we tend to think a leadership of a team is the coach or is the boss or is the supervisor. And really, if we're paying attention, leadership doesn't come from the title. It comes from the person people want to follow, the, the one with the charismatic energy or the one that has that insight or takes the time to take care of others so they want to take care of them. That's kind of what I'm getting towards. Uh, you know, and, and all of this comes from, again, something I experienced at work today, which was a, a wonderful, huge, big operational teamwork thing. It was so cool to see, and I wish I can give you more details, but... Not going to be able to, so I apologize for that. This, this feels rude to do to do that. But even when when in, with this team at work, wow, easy for me to say. Goodness, I always get so stumbly at nighttime. Um, even with the the team that I saw in action today at work, there was clearly somebody in charge, but there were other people in charge of other aspects of what was going on, and the leadership was handed so wonderfully not back up, but to the person who needed to be in charge in the moment, who needed to take the lead. And everyone knew uh, the ebb and flow of what was going to happen, how it needed to happen, and when they needed to follow a certain person's lead. And the really good thing about a, a really well-functioning team is that even when someone who's technically not leading in the moment uh, offers up an idea or an opinion or a um, questions, a, a something in a constructive way, obviously, uh, instead of looking, being looked upon as someone who's questioning authority or questioning leadership, <laughs> leadership, it's looked upon as a moment for that person to take the lead uh, or for the leader to kind of step in and give the information needed so that person can do their side of the work better or understand the overall efforts of the team better. 
And so that's kind of my thought for the day is, you know, obviously the earlier part that I said about teamwork and, you know, just kind of naturally trusting each other, playing into each other's strengths and that sort of thing instead of, you know, needling each other for weaknesses, but then the leadership aspect of it too. And really, I think a leader is more than a title by any means. It's someone who is there to, you know, take care of the team and to put forward and support those who have the skills to get certain things done and and then and notice when it's time to switch who they're focusing on to help support to get those skills done and, and build that camaraderie within the team to support each other. So that's the whole complete thought. Wow, almost my mouth is not even working. I should make weird faces in videos because people can pause them and that's not good. Um, so there it is. Uh, that wraps up today's Monday. It's only Monday. Wow, well, it felt like two days. It felt like Monday today's Tuesday. So hey, I got an extra day in the week. Yay. All right, <laughs> you guys, you know what? My wish is for you. I hope you had a good one. And if not, I hope you have a better one tomorrow. And I'm going to leave with my usual tag. Have a good one, everybody.